So let me so let me ask you. Uh, I'm always curious about the creative process. Um, but you you've produced so much because I've been following you for a while. You've produced the sketches and the comedy. Like you have so much. So it's I almost I'm kind of like ah, what do I ask you about? But selfishly, I'm going to ask you about the creative process for writing for television, if that's okay. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'd love to hear just how you think about it, how you approach it. Um, are you asking as like how to write for TV or like, how do I write for TV? So how, how do you write for TV? Sure. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll go in the lanes of what I would do for like, I'm working on a new pilot right now for myself. Uh, that is fingers crossed something I could hopefully develop down the road, but I'm doing it on my own in sort of the traditional television writing way, which is I start <laughs> with an idea and a premise, you, the thing you want to talk about, sure. your central argument. And I slowly and surely build a world around that. And I sometimes work backwards where I come from a world of graphic design and design. So I studied at Parsons. Um, I worked in advertising before moving into TV and I'm just very comfortable making a pitch deck, making like visuals, right. putting visuals together. So a lot of the times when I start creating stories and errors in my head, I, I start pulling visual references for them. Uh, nice. So I'm working with us saying too much on something that's sci-fi related. So I'm pulling a lot of like, what do spaceships look like? What does this thing look like? And I'm like, what what is the thing that I want it to look like ultimately? Uh, so I sort of start in that in that world, and once I get that world, I could uh, better see the story that I want to create within it. And then I would go to the place of uh, making a beat board. And for those who don't know what a beat board is, a beat board is literally like post-it notes on a wall of scenes. You're like, this could be a fun scene. Uh, I don't know. My character going to a video store is a scene. I don't know. That is not a scene I'm doing because that is very bad, but um, (laughs) it's just an example. So uh, I sort of beat out a story uh, based around two to three characters and then try to formulate them into uh, a cold open and three acts. So at this point, I'm still organizing all the post-its to make some sense of the story. And post-its are coming off, post-its are coming on, post-its are being edited uh, until I have the semblance of what I like uh, for a 30 to 35 minute comedy. Uh, and once that's done, where I am now is I take all those post-its and then I put them into what's called, uh, an outline. So you're taking all these single sheets of scenes and expanding them. And you're like, you're essentially Goldilocksing it where it's, you're, you're writing down exactly what's happening. Right. And, you're, and you're not adding in too much emotion or flavor or anything like that just yet. It's a lot like, they go to the store. Once they get to the store, this thing happens. And then when this thing happens, this character is going to do this. Dot, 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 um, within the outline. So you have an expanded version of the beat board now in a written format. It's now in final draft. So it's in a working document. Uh, and from that, I once I'm in the outline, I go into the script. So I'll transcribe those scenes into actual dialogue. Uh, and that would be the final step for writing a little pilot, which is what I'm working on right now. Sure. And I'm trying to think what else I could think about it, but uh, 